topic today is IEEE 754 and today uh, it's going to be a quick lesson and we're going to go through a quick review uh, first thing I want to show you is the format you know so as you can see 23 8 and 1 over here total we have 32 bits so this is the sign bit which will tell you if the number is positive or negative this is the exponent part and this is the you can say floating number or whatever you call it the number part so things will become clear as we go through the examples so let's begin we have this example over here which is 3CC800C you know what first let's go to the beautiful example much better so we have a number 91.6875 and we have to convert it into binary first so guys you did this in CSC 230 or you know any kind of um, numerical course that in this part is you do get it by dividing so 91 divided by 2 gives you 45 with a remainder of 1 and in this way when you get remainder uh, remainder 1 you keep it and when you get a reminder 0 you keep it and for this part yeah, I mean the left part you start from this uh, area so it will be 10110111 yes 10111011 so this is not an RGPLE thing it's uh, this is something you did before and this is also something you did before this is the decimal part and you deal with it by dividing into two and every time you get one point three seven five then you do, do it to dot three seven five excluding the one and but this case it will start from above so one zero one one most significant bit to least significant bit okay and then when you join the two of them we get this now why did I put a minus over here well the minus is because this number is minus negative so that's why there's the minus still so far easy now this is the unknown part this is something we didn't do before and before we go ahead with this let's try to keep it just one digit before the decimal and send the rest to you know be behind the decimal with uh, using the exponent over 2 now uh, this is optional though but it will makes your things easy besides you need this you need this value 6 and I'll show you where so you already go remember that thing the first was sign bit so we already know that that's one now there are two other uh, uh, 8 bit value is missing and a 23 bit value is missing let's fill in the blanks this is already one we know because it's negative now the exponent is 6 so 127 is the limit and the overflow for that will be plus 6 and you get 1 3 3 10 and then you divide it into binary you sorry you convert it into binary and that will be your exponent part so this will be one zero 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 one zero one imagine what I'm writing this is zero this is the same thing just imagine it okay now, now the only part that is left is this part so we're gonna get that Come on, why don't you go? Okay, much better. Now we got this part, we got the, uh, you know, exponent part. Where will we get this? Well, we actually got this from here. You see, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, how many digits are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But I need 23. No problem. Just put zeros until you get 23 bits. It doesn't make any difference. Just put zeros. That's all. Now we have the format that we needed. This is the format. The first is the sign bit. The second is the exponent bit. And these 23 bits are for the number. Now you put them in a sequence and then you get this and divide them into four and then convert into hex boom you got your number the same thing goes for the reverse 
you first convert them into binary exact reverse thing and then you get the number here it is 0 because the first bit is 0 that means the number is positive okay and the exponent how do you get the exponent this part will be the exponent after the sign bit you take 8 digits let me show you that's exactly how we did this these 8 digits see and then you convert it into decimal you get 121 so you divide uh, you subtract 121 from 127.6 and you get minus 6 that means it's negative so and as for the rest of the number that will be your f part float number part and you put them so once you're done you know the exponent from here you know the sign bit you know everything now all you have to do is convert it into decimal and that's pretty easy you can do it in several ways you can also just put it over here I'll show you the part I did see over here well you have this is the part this is the exponent then this is your first initial format and uh, we got one because of the negative minus six and then you can just use the exponent to push forward and start counting from here minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus seven minus eight now we will only take the ones that have one so minus six minus seven and minus ten so two to the power minus six to the power minus seven to the power minus ten you get 0 0.244 this is one way of doing it you can also do it according to the note like this you can also do it in this way it doesn't matter either way it's your choice that's not important what is important is that you reach up to here okay this is the main thing now sometimes you may have repetitions when converting the decimal into binary you may have repetitions in that case you will just accept that repetition no problem you just keep repeating the same sequence until you get 23 bits that's all and everything else is the same you can understand that and this is also a similar one now I'll show you an addition there is no addition notes here so I made one with my Hebrew handwriting uh, I'm really having a hard time understanding it myself so here we have 7a c5 and the rest are 0 so ignore them so you already remember that first the sign bit both of them are zero that means the both numbers are positive then the eight number eight bits for exponent this is for x and this is for y so then you get the exponent number 118 for x 24 for y this is not necessary this part was not necessary 118 and 24 then you use the rest of the numbers this part for the float f part same for y and then you convert y into the format of x that means here it's 2 to the power 24 and here it's 2 to the power 118 so I need to make both of them same so that I can add in that way easy way to do it is just keep adding zeros after the decimal so 118 minus 24 gives you 94 but uh, we have 93 here because we included this zero this part this zero and before you do that make sure that you uh, include this one inside because first one to go inside is one and then you fill rest 93 with zeros that's all and then you add both of them okay more precise I'll just show you this part I think this could be confusing so here we have one two three four five six seven eight so first we do this one zero one zero zero one zero into two to the power twenty five and then rest ninety three you can just make them zeros zero dot 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 zero 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 you know that that's how we got this now these two are same so we can easily add them together but this is a bigger number so this part will show up in the front and this part the lower part this part will show up at the last of the segment and between them there will be a lots of zeros which is very logical and I here we have a multiplication one example so you convert it into binary using the same method that you did 
and then you will get an x and y the exponents which is same here is the new thing the formula x at y is equal to x s single precision y single precision into 2 exponent of x and exponent of y you already know the exponent of x which is minus 2 you also know the exponent of y which is 8 how did I get that from here minus 2 and 8 and these are the numbers which numbers these numbers so that's xs and that's ys and you do a very simple multiplication just like you multiply which you learned in class